welcome to our Somerset College Prep School Virtual Open Day. It is wonderful to have you join us as we share some insights into what makes our school so incredibly unique. My name is Craig Verdell Austin and I have the privilege of leading our progressive and dynamic team. So what is it that makes us unique? What differentiates us from others? Many aspects of our offering make us special and unique. I would like to touch on a few of those with you this morning. I invite you to come in and visit us to find out other exciting and relevant aspects about our offering. From the outset, I need to acknowledge our dedicated and committed staff. One thing we hold dear at Somerset College is our nurturing and pastoral environment, which is supported wholeheartedly by our wonderful staff. The staff are certainly here to serve our community. It is our intention to position the school as the leading co-educational destination prep school of choice in South Africa. With that in mind, we have a strategy 2022 in place, which has an overarching theme of excellence. As a school, we aspire to excellence in all that we do, in every communication and in every conversation. This strategy binds us and holds us. The prep school philosophy is a holistic, nurturing and supportive one, set to empower and inspire each child. The school is to be described as a dynamic centre of excellence, offering Cambridge and Eastern curriculums. The prep journey is to be a memorable one, whereby children add value in all environments. Somerset College Prep centres its decision making on what is best for each child, in order that they thrive and flourish. Our prep school supports the one school philosophy and will always strive to suitably prepare our children for their transition to senior school. Culture is very important to me, as it is to the team at Somerset College. We believe in an inclusive culture, a positive culture, a culture that is child-centered, a culture that asks the question, what is best for your child? Speaking of that which binds us and brings us together, our Christian values and ethos are very important to us and is something that we speak to throughout our days and weeks. Our academic and extracurricular programs show strength and depth and are robust in terms of internal and external benchmarking. You will shortly hear more about these offerings as well as our arts and culture department. Community engagement is an integral part of who we are. We believe in what happens, as I call it, beyond the gates. We have struck up several relationships with our neighboring community with the view that these relationships are reciprocal and that we have much to learn ourselves in these partnerships. Our values of dignity, aspiration, creativity and contribution also guide and shape our decision making. We strive to create children who think, who challenge and if necessary change the status quo. Our peer to system of doing what is right is also what forms our decisions. We aspire to being better versions of ourselves. And when those decisions are not quite well placed, we apply a restorative approach to setting the path straight. What a year we have experienced thus far, what with the current pandemic in our midst. However, it is in a crisis that one learns the most about oneself as well as those around you. I'm happy to say that we have successfully navigated this crisis and will continue to do so because of our entrenched sense of community. We have rallied and supported each other, and I'm thankful to staff, parents, and children on the roles they have played thus far. I'm very confident that we will all cross the pandemic line together one day. Our hybrid academic approach to the crisis has been highly successful, and we managed our full academic term two offering online, inclusive of assessment and our reporting system. And with each term, we take more steps towards a fuller sense of normalcy. Our children have safely returned to campus this term and we are delighted to have close to 90% of our ch child cohort back in the classroom. It has to be said that our children are happy, something that has not changed since my arrival some five years ago. The children are genuinely happy and safe, which I think speaks volumes about their well-being and pastoral care and support. When all is said and done, we aim to match the beauty of our campus with the beauty from within. How we speak to each other matters. How we behave matters. How we conduct ourselves matters. How we win or lose matters. Thank you for joining us today. As mentioned, what you hear today is just a small window into what we are about and who we are. To hear the rest about our educational offering, 
please do come in and get a sense of our exciting and inspiring journey of magic and wonder. Welcome to our prep school open day. Should you wish to make Somerset College your school of choice, your journey should ideally start in the pre-prep to reap the benefits of our beautiful campus. We cater for three age groups. Our grade triple noughts are three turning four and the double noughts are four turning five. The grade R's turn six during the school year. We are so fortunate to be situated between the vineyards and the dam, which creates the perfect learning environment to support the philosophy which inspires us, the Reggio Emilia approach. In this approach, the learning environment is seen as very important and it is referred to as a third teacher. Our pre prep classes are named after the birds we see regularly on our beautiful campus. You might wonder what makes us the wonderful pre prep that we are. In line with the Reggio Emilia approach, the focus is on the children's experiences, memories, thoughts and ideas in the course of their work. Children are seen as being capable, they have a voice. We value relationships, collaborating, children and teachers working together to create a safe learning sanctuary. Documenting the school year is very important to us. When schools closed for the initial lockdown period, we started using a digital platform called Seesaw for our online learning program. This has been so successful that we are continuing to use Seesaw to document the daily learning. We have a holistic approach to education. While we follow a skills-based ISASA curriculum, our focus is really on developing skills, social and emotional skills, physical and perceptual skills. A typical week in the pre-prep would consist of learning rings where investigation plays a vital role. Outdoor play, philosophy for children, class music and a visit to the library. Coach Danette runs our physical program, that's ball skills, gymnastics or what we call fizzy fun and swimming. This contributes to laying a solid foundation for all other learning to take place as the little ones move up through the school. Now for some housekeeping. Early morning care will be available from seven o'clock in the mornings as from next year. The school hours vary slightly between the grades, but the children are all welcomed onto the playground at half past seven in the morning. The grade triple noughts finish at 12. The grade double noughts and the grade R's finish at half past 12. Children may be enrolled in aftercare, which is provided free of charge from 2021 until half past five each day. Our pre-preppies spend many happy hours at school every week. Our playground is very well equipped and our fantasy garden is a safe haven for snails, songololos and frogs, which entertain the children for many hours. This is incredibly satisfying and I hope that you get to experience this. I'm currently standing in our physics lab of our East Team building. This is a world-class centre on our campus, which is used by both and our, our prep and our senior school children. You will hopefully soon get to visit our beautiful campus. On arrival, you will be met by children who are happy to be at school, as well as staff who aim to make each child feel welcome and part of the Somerset College family. Our beautiful facilities and campus provides one of the best environments in the world in which to learn, and children are often seen out on the grass having chance to learn and collaborate together. Each child at our school is recognised and known. Each child is different and unique, and we ensure that our offering speaks not only to their academic development, but also the physical and emotional well-being of each and every child. Our academic offering is embedded in the Cambridge Primary Curriculum. This is an internationally recognised, skills-based curriculum, which encourages independent thinking and deep understanding. This curriculum forms the foundation for English, Math and Science, and the same approach is used for our other subjects which follow an adapted CAT curriculum. Our focus is not on content, but rather on the acquisition of skills and the ability to apply what is learned. Continuous assessment forms part of our academic journey, and this encourages independence and aims to develop our children as lifelong learners. Our unique ESTEAM program forms an exciting part of our academic journey. All children from grade one to seven have ESTEAM as part of their weekly program. 
Eastin follows an integrated approach with specific focus on skills development as well as an awareness of the environmental impact of what they're working on. Eastim is guided by the teachers but allows the opportunity for children to implement their thinking and ideas. Children are often given a problem or a situation to explore and are given the freedom to collaborate and research and come up with ideas that could be implemented to help solve the problem. This program encourages independence and often involves a hands-on approach with children being able to build and implement their thoughts practically. Our Eastim building is a world-class learning environment which encourages collaboration between our children. This year during COVID, our whole academic offering moved online and continued uninterrupted for the duration of term two. We continued with our curriculum as well as our assessments and were able to issue full academic reports at the end of the first semester. We are certainly proud of the way that both staff and children embrace this opportunity. Many of these skills we acquired during online learning are now being used in the classroom now that we are back on campus. Some of the college prep children are given a solid foundation, installing the necessary skills and independence for when they reach the senior school. The journey of each child is tracked and monitored, and the necessary support is put in place to ensure they thrive at their optimum. An important part of this process is the support offered by our student development unit. Our SDU team is based on campus and offers the emotional and academic support for our children, parents and staff. We aim to see each child thrive and grow as they move through the school. Good morning and a very warm welcome to you again. I, we had some difficulties with technical issues a little earlier and you might have seen me but you didn't hear what I was saying. So I'm going to welcome you all over again and we'll start at the beginning. Thank you for taking time to join us for making space in your busy diaries and to be part of our first virtual open day for the preparatory and pre-preparatory schools at Somerset College. We're coming to you live from Somerset West. We're all over the world this morning and we're glad to be back with sound and sight. I do wish you could be here physically because it's just so special to be able to meet you and to see your children. Often an open day is the start of a journey. It's the first couple of steps we take together on a journey that could last many years as we work together in combination to mold and to guide your children. And I also wish you could be here so that you could see just how beautiful our campus is, how spacious and lovely, so that you could see our extensive sports facilities and also look at the, the architecture of the buildings on campus, which range from Cape Dutch to 21st century high tech. But sadly, you can't be here with us, and so we've made another plan. And we've put together a program that I hope will inspire and motivate you to become a part of the Somerset College community. My name's Patricia. I'm part of the admissions team, and it's my privilege to be the first point of contact when you um, phone or email the school. And it's also my privilege to take guests on tours around the school. And I'm going to take you on a tour this morning, a virtual visual tour of our campus. And along the way, we're going to meet key staff members. And you've already met a couple of them. Um, and I'm just going to remind you who they are. And, and just to uh, point out that these are staff who, who care very much about the children and about our goals and vision for the 21st century. If you have any questions that arise from the conversations, please would you email us or SMS. The address is at the bar below at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, this, is a, this is live and it's interactive. We'd love you to be part of this morning and hear what you're thinking and what you're wanting to know. And just a, a reminder uh, to point out, as you've already seen from some of our visuals, they were taken in the days before masks and social distancing. Uh, but you'll hear our teachers speak about the creative ways that we've dealt with the pandemic. Just to remind you who you saw in the previous clips, you met the head of the prep school, Craig Verdal Austin. You got the big picture from him. And then Janet Weber, who's the acting head of the pre-preparatory school, spoke with you about that very special part of the campus. And then Ruth Evans, who's the deputy head at the prep school in charge of academics, spoke with you about our curriculum. It's important that you have those facts at your fingertips when you're thinking about making an application. 
So you have an idea of our academic foundation and what inspires our child-centered learning. Remember those questions? We'd love to get them and we'll discuss those at the end. A school is judged primarily on its academics, but you want a lot more than that for your child. You want a balanced and holistic education that gives your child a broad range of opportunities and experiences, and Somerset College certainly provides that. Let's first take a look at our broad-based sport and physical education program with Warren Bevan. He's one of our deputy heads in charge of extracurricular activities and discipline. And then grab your boots and backpacks because we're going camping. Quentin de Toy is head of the outdoor education program and he's going to tell you about the wonderful camps and adventures that our children enjoy in every grade at the prep school. These are two very important aspects of life at Somerset College because we firmly believe that there are many things children need to learn which are not necessarily taught in the classroom. Good morning parents, um, I'm here to chat to you about our sports program. Um, obviously under today's situation things are quite different but before COVID we ran a compulsory sports program for all our children from grade one all the way up to grade seven. Specifically our grade ones they ran a ball skills program and it was uh, they did it for four afternoons in a, in a week and it was geared towards our grade ones. Our grade ones also didn't participate in league matches. We felt that Emotionally, not, they're not ready for that. And we use our grade one year to get them ready. So when they hit grade two, they're ready for those sorts of challenges. And then our grade twos to sevens also do four days of sport. Our main summer sports are cricket, tennis, swimming, and athletics. And then during winter time, which we should have done uh, over the last six months, but lockdown obviously stopped that, is our, our netball, hockey, and our rugby. What we do allow when our grade six and sevens get to... Uh, uh, into grade six and seven and uh, obviously academic starts to get a bit more pressurized and get stepped up and we're getting ready for grade eight we do allow them to drop one or two days of sport but we really encourage them to, to participate in all four days obviously now during lockdown and during COVID we are back at school this term and uh, all our online um, phys ed lessons have become on site and we've, we've introduced an expanded phys ed program at present, we're not allowed to coach any sport, which I know the boys and girls are very disappointed. But uh, this expanded program, uh, every afternoon we have a grade, they go out onto the sports field and they do running activities, ball skills, and, it's, and they're, they're really enjoying it. Uh, we just wish we could do a lot more, but at the moment we have obviously restrictions. But one thing that I would really like you to take away, uh, forget about the COVID and all of that, one of the, the key things that we do in our sports program is it's all about opportunities. Uh, we run a program that's not just geared towards A teams or geared towards getting all the results and uh, achieving fantastic results. For us, it's about the process. It's about each child getting an opportunity to, to develop their sporting skills, to enjoy sport, and more importantly, to develop their emotional intelligence. That is key for us. So for example, one of the things we managed to do last year is all eight uh, hockey teams, uh, under 13 hockey teams went to our tour. Uh, those are our boys and girls. And even the, I mean, it was amazing. Our B team played a hockey match under lights on Astro. I mean, what an amazing opportunity. And normally those opportunities will only really be for eight teams at many, many schools. So we, we pride ourselves in, in creating these opportunities and making the process enjoyable. So by the time they leave prep school, they're ready to choose exactly which sport they would like to go into in high school. So that's really a kind of a nutshell in our, our sports program. At the moment with COVID, um, next term, term four, we're going to hopefully continue with our expanded program. And next year, 2021, we're not sure. We have to listen to our unions. We have to follow COVID protocols. We're hoping to bring back more sport next year. Uh, but at the moment, it looks like we might continue with our expanded phys ed program. But uh, you know, we'll be planning that next term and we'll be listening to government regulations and we'll be finding out exactly what we can and cannot do. So the one thing I want to remember is opportunities, process. Those are key words for us. And uh, thank you for taking your time to listen to me. And I trust you'll enjoy the rest of your virtual tour. Thank you. Good morning, parents. From its early days, Somerset College has been intentional in giving the children a well-rounded education. And one of the focus areas is to expose them to education beyond the classroom. 
to give them an experience in a completely different off-campus environment that would excite them, challenge them, and develop a different skill set. It has proven to be hugely successful over the years as we have fine-tuned the programs for each of our camps to be age-appropriate and stimulating. Camps Week is an absolute highlight on our calendar for the students, and I must add, for our teachers too. Although Grade Ones do not go away on a camp, they participate in Expedition Week, in which they compile a visual diary of the activities they do on the campus and the skills they learn. From Grade Two on, each grade attends a camp in a safe environment where activities are facilitated by professional camp staff, keeping our boys and girls challenged in a space that is new to many, exposing them to things that they would not normally think of participating in back at home. Grade twos are away for one night, threes and fours two nights, fives and sixes spend three nights away. Through the age groups, not only is the sense of adventure increased, but also responsibility and accountability away from the influence of parents, allowing the children to grow in confidence and develop their sense of independence. The flagship of the PrEP outdoor education program is the Grade 7 experience, a brand synonymous with a rite of passage into high school. The grade spends five days away in the beautiful Matrisburg, camping, hiking, raft building, paddling, rock climbing, abseiling, and various other activities, all geared towards personal growth and team building. You'll be happy to hear that the outdoor education journey at Somerset College does not end in grade seven, but rather sets things up for further adventures in the high school, with each grade from eight to 11, enjoying at least one camp per year. The highlight, of course, is the trick at the end of the grade nine year. Definitely the benchmark school's outdoor experience in South Africa. A deal clincher when deciding on a school of choice for your child. I hope you found those talks informative. And again, if you have any questions, you're welcome to SMS or email them. The address is on the bar below here at the bottom of the screen. Questions about our sports program or our camps, Maybe you're still thinking about the academics. Any question, you're very welcome to send in. Right, so we've heard a little bit about our academic curriculum and our standard of excellence at the PrEP. You've heard how valuable sport is in developing not only physical strength and confidence, but EQ as well. And I bet, I, I mean, I'm sure that you wish you could share in some of those camping adventures. Those photographs were really beautiful. But what about music, art, and drama? Children need to learn to express themselves and to love and appreciate the arts as well. And they're given plenty of opportunity to do that at our school. Kelly Westrout from the Drama Department is here to tell you about this exciting and creative facet of life at Somerset College. Arts and culture at Somerset College is something that we are very proud of. We are a group of creative, passionate, and well-qualified teachers who strive for excellence in the department. The skills that are taught within these subjects, music, art, and drama, are there to educate children on their social and emotional behavior. We believe in nurturing each child's talents and strengths and hope to build self-confidence while being creative and having fun. We offer an exceptional class music curriculum from grade one to seven. It's a practical and modern approach. We believe that music at the school is for everybody, from marimba playing to pop bands to off instrument playing, singing, there's plenty of opportunity within our class music department. We also have a shining individual music department at Somerset College that hosts 19 different musical instruments. These children take part in musical examinations and our steadfords. We are very proud of our junior and senior choirs. We also have a jazz band and string and recorder ensemble. Art lessons are loved at Somerset College. It is a space where children get to express themselves freely and explore their creativity through different art methods and techniques. Art is a vehicle for expression, a communication tool. It is not necessarily about the, the talent of the artist, but more about the individuality and growth. Drama is also a very much loved subject at the school. During these very practical based lessons, we focus on building self-confidence, emotional intelligence. We teach the children to act and we teach them how to adapt to an ever-changing world, as we've seen during COVID-19. We also have a good laugh during our improvisational lessons. 
The Arts and Culture Department has quickly adapted to the online learning program during the COVID-19 pandemic. We've equipped ourselves and we've transformed what are practical subjects into an online learning platform that is still creative and well thought through. As a department, we believe in giving children opportunities to perform as much as possible, whether it be public speaking competitions, drama plays, whole school plays, art exhibitions, music concerts or virtual music concerts. We believe that it is important that a child experiences what live performance is all about. There is a space for every child at the college to shine in our arts and culture department. Now we've come to the part of the program where we get to hear your voice. And we'd like to thank those who've sent in questions. And just to remind those who are thinking about it, please do send your question. The um, SMS and email address is at the, at the bar at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to hear from you any questions that you'd like to ask about the pre-preparatory and the preparatory schools at Somerset College. We have a couple of questions <coughs> in, and I want to ask Craig Verdal Orson, the head at our preparatory school, to answer the first one. Craig, you mentioned that uh, Somerset College has a Christian foundation. And the question is, does Somerset College accept all faiths? Thank you, Patricia. Uh, most certainly, we do accept uh, all faiths. We are very tolerant of, of all faiths, and uh, I'm very glad to, to say that uh, several of our students um, come from a variety of different faiths. So yes, while we are a, a Christian school based on Christian uh, principles and our ethos is, is that um, we do accept uh, children of all faiths, very gladly. Craig, I wonder if you could perhaps um, let our, our viewers know how we express the Christian faith at, at the prep school. So yes, we do have Bible Ed uh, lessons. Uh, we do have Friday Chapel. Our Monday assemblies uh, also include um, a Christian perspective. We have a, a Scripture Union leaders uh, who are involved. Um, and, and in fact, uh, in the next uh, chapel service, our, our, our Scripture Union leaders um, are taking that one. So there's definitely a, uh, a sprinkling of it, um, and it's, uh, it's in our curriculum, it's in our lessons, um, and in our different uh, assemblies and our, and our chapels. Thanks very much, Craig. Our next question concerns bullying, and that obviously, sadly, is a very relevant uh, question. Um, every school that I know of has issues with this. I think it's part of human nature, but obviously you'd want to know how we deal with bullying and discipline at our prep school at Somerset College. So I've asked Warren Bevan, um, the, the deputy head who deals with discipline, to answer this question. Warren, what is our approach at the preparatory school at Somerset College to bullying, and how do we handle matters of discipline? Thank you, Patricia. I think first up, parents need to know. I think no school can actually say we don't have bullying. And um, it's obviously something that is very much in the forefront of us at, at the college. And the way we tackle uh, bullying is we, head, we tackle it head on, uh, zero tolerance, and um, we investigate uh, through various means. We obviously keep the parents uh, involved in, in that investigation and we inform them what's going on. And we also make use of our student development unit. And um, if consequences need to be given, then consequences are handed out to, to the children. But, uh, but I'd like to just kind of pause there and, and mention that our, our main concern is also how we move forward. Uh, that is what is important to us, is how do we help the children move forward? How do we, how do we help the bully, the, the, the young boy or girl who is doing the bullying? How, how do we help that child move forward? Uh, maybe there is something that they're not happy with. And so we do, we do offer that help and that support for, for that particular child. And, and obviously not forgetting the child who is receiving the bullying. Uh, very important, we need to teach that child skills to be able to cope and, and manage situations like that. And I often say to all the children, the most important person that's out there in the playground where, where bullying tends to happen most of the time is the bystander. That child, we would like that, that child to be part of the process and not part of, uh, part of the problem. And we encourage the bystanders to, and we equip them with skills to, to stand up and to speak up. And we do this through life orientation lessons, through our chapel services, uh, also through our Monday's assemblies. And, um, but I, I, think, I think the word I'm searching for, Patricia, is, is, is all about helping the children move forward. 
And for me, it's a, it's a restorative process. So what underpins our, our, our philosophy, our, our policy, is this uh, restorative approach when tackling bullying. And just, uh, just to add to that, a whole discipline approach is based upon a, a system we call the Pietus system. You would have seen in our logo the word Pietus, which means to do what is right. And uh, we, it's all about encouraging the children to make the right choices. And obviously, if they, they make choices which are not good ones, there are consequences for that. But it's through the, 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 the dealing with it and, and obviously through receiving the consequence that we're helping the children move forward so that we can make sure they make the right choices and they can do what is right. And that's where the word Pietus comes from. And it kind of, kind of sums up and knits our whole process together. So, Patricia, I think the word that I would like the parents to remember is the restorative, the, uh, that word that underpins what we're trying to do with regards to discipline and, and bullying at the school. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks, Warren, for that comprehensive reply. Moving on to a question about our student development unit. Uh, Ruth Evans mentioned that, and um, the head of that unit at our prep school is Lauren Brown. She's our educational psychologist at the school. Lauren, the question is, are children with learning challenges supported at our prep school? Thank you, Patricia. Yes, definitely. Our student development unit consists of me. I'm an educational psychologist. We then have a speech therapist, occupational therapist, and remedial therapist. We meet weekly to discuss children who are experiencing a range of difficulties, whether that's emotional difficulties or challenges within the classroom environment. We also work closely with the high school student development unit to ensure that the progression from grade seven to grade eight is smooth and problem free. And we work closely with the teachers as well. So spend a lot of time uh, meeting with teachers and parents uh, and supporting the teachers as much as we support the children. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Our next question is for Ruth. Ruth, as I can remind you, is the deputy head in charge of the academics at um, the, uh, the prep school. Ruth, if schools needed to shut down next year, um, this is something that uh, um, we are now so much more aware of with the pandemic. The question is, would, would, would our school, would the prep be prepared for that, to shut down again next year? Thanks, Patricia. This year with the COVID pandemic, we closed schools at the, in, in March and had to go online for term two. And the staff at our school really embraced this opportunity and our classes all went on online. The grade ones to threes, as well as the pre-prep used Seesaw as their online platform. And the lessons were recorded by the staff and put online for the children to do at home. Our grade fours to sevens used Google Classroom as their platform and we're, the children joined those classrooms live. And those lessons were presented from the teachers' homes and the children were able to take part and our curriculum continued. So should we have to be online again next um, year, if, it, the, if the situation arose, we would certainly be able to go online and continue with our school program. Thanks very much, Ruth. And I wonder if I could just say a, a little bit here. Um, we mentioned briefly the ESTEEM program and our ESTEEM program at the prep school and the senior school is all about making children resilient and ready for the 21st century and I think the COVID pandemic was was a real live experience for everybody throughout the school in terms of, of suddenly being um, prepared for the future, being able to move very quickly into a situation that was unknown for us, being creative, being resilient. And I think our staff have, have gone to incredible measures to make sure that, that there's been a seamless move into the digital world of education. Uh, our next question is for Ruth, uh, while, while you're still standing by, Ruth. In terms of the Cambridge curriculum, would a prep year three pupil be able to seamlessly transition in the UK? We follow the Cambridge curriculum in the prep school, um, which is in English, maths and science, which goes from the year grade ones all the way up to our grade seven. So our grade sevens form part of the secondary Cambridge program. So each year form is in line with the stages of the curriculum. We do, however, have a difference in the curriculum that our school starting age in, the, in, in South Africa is older. So the children do start school a little bit later. 
And so we are in, in line with the Cambridge curriculum, but the school starting age does have an impact on this as they move up through the school. So they would be they would transition into the into the UK UK system, but the school starting age would mean that there's a slight difference in the in the time frame. Thanks very much, Ruth. I hope that answered that question. If we perhaps aren't able to answer all the questions, or you maybe have one and you haven't actually sent it through yet, you are welcome to contact me later and we'll be able to email some replies to your questions. I have a question for Craig next. When we saw the video shot of Craig, he was standing in front of a very interesting structure. And the question is, what was that structure and what is that all about? I did say that is our outdoor <coughs> learning center. So Craig, would you give us a bit more information about that, why we have it and what it, its purpose is at the press at Somerset College? Thank you, Patricia. So yes, the outdoor learning space, or affectionately known as the OLS, uh, is something that we, we brought through last year. Um, I was being very, f the context of which uh, have been a few travels uh, that I've taken to, to Finland. And uh, it was on the back of uh, my Finnish experiences where the education system is very child-centered. Um, it's all about the child and the environment. And, uh, and coming back to, to, to Somerset College, um, I've certainly taken some of those, those Finnish principles in education and we have applied them uh, in our school. For example, we changed our lessons to, to 45 minute lessons um, with a few uh, snacks and breaks in between. We very much believe in, the, in outdoor education, as you've heard uh, already this morning, being a big part uh, of, of who we are and of our educational philosophy. So I did come back and uh, on the back of staff uh, conversations, uh, we found ourselves in, in quite a tricky space in terms of uh, getting the children outside. Sometimes our weather, uh, as beautiful as it can be, can, can count against us. And so we came up with a, a concept around outdoor education, outdoor learning, uh, and we designed the, the beautiful uh, outdoor learning space the intention of which is to get children closer to our environment. We do believe that they learn uh, best uh, in such a setting. And so we have the outdoor learning space, which is uh, very much uh, a teaching space. Uh, we, we have the space en masse, and we can also divide the space up uh, into smaller units. Um, and we are in the process of uh, building some technology uh, into the space, bringing some furniture through. So. The outdoor learning space is a, is a big add-on in terms of our offering. Um, yes, with COVID at the moment, it's been uh, slightly put on hold, but we are integrating back into the space. There's a, a huge board that takes center, center space, and we can do a lot of our teaching in that space, often small groups, en masse uh, groups as well. Uh, we can use it for, for drama and productions. Uh, we can use it to, to receive guests um, and other sorts of functions. So. The staff have certainly enjoyed the space. The children are loving the space. We officially opened the outdoor learning space uh, last year, and uh, it, has, it has proved to be very successful. Thanks so much. Thank you, Craig. And I must say, I think that, that outdoor learning space really stands as, as testimony to the, the, the child-centered focus at our prep school and at the pre-prep school, and uh, the, the passion that goes into that teaching. I know passion is often a hackneyed word, but it's something that I see every day as I move through the schools taking tours uh, with guests, that um, so much is done and adjusted and there's a constant learning and a constant willingness to change and to improve so that your children are the ones who receive the best education. Thank you for the questions that you've sent in. We're going to move on now. We're coming towards the close of our presentation. And I hope you found it interesting to see how we live and work and learn and play at Somerset College. And I hope that you found it inspiring and are thinking perhaps of the next step, which would be to join our school community. If you'd like to apply for your child to attend Somerset College, either the pre-preparatory or the prep school, the simplest way to do that is to apply via the website. And if you go to admissions on the home page, then you'll be able to access the online application form as well as information on the fee structure. And if you go down a little lower on that drop box that comes at admissions, you'll be able to see where our prospectus is. You can get a lot more information than you've received just this morning. You'll be able to read that at your leisure and find out more and more about our school.
perhaps I can just draw your attention to a few ways in which we as a school have, have decided to undertake to assist parents who've been hard hit by the COVID crisis. Um, we're, not, we're not going to be increasing our school fees for 2021. They're going to stay the same as they are for this year. And from 2021, the costs of pre-care and after-care will be included in those tuition fees. So that, in effect, means that they're given at no extra cost. We've also lowered our once-off enrollment free fee from 15,000 Rand to 8,000 Rand. We know that quality education is a priority for you as parents, and we also know just how difficult and more complicated life has become lately. So we hope those measures will make it a little easier for you to really be able to enroll your child at our school. Thank you for sharing this virtual open day with us. We're pleased that you heard about us and that you wanted to find out more. And we hope that you've really enjoyed seeing and hearing about our pre-preparatory and prep school. You're welcome to email me, Patricia, for more information at admissions at somcol.co.za. That email address is on the website. So goodbye, take care, be well and stay well. And may we meet again next time face to face. Bye.